Now, another popular feature with the uh, Samsung line of phones is the multitasking capabilities. And this tip applies to the Edge as well as the standard Samsung S6. All you do is you press and hold the recent button. And now what you have is a list of programs. And if you swipe to the left or to the right, this way it will show you the programs that you already had open. These are all the programs that will support that uh, multi-window function. So what I could do is I could choose, for example, Amazon. Amazon is going to open on the top. And then what I could choose is my Chrome browser. And the Chrome browser will sh uh, show up on the bottom. So I can actually have access to two applications at the same time. I could be chatting on the top and looking at navigation on the bottom. I could be browsing the Internet on the top. And I could uh, you know, maybe uh, type an email on the bottom. So uh, this is going to give you the ability to interact with both applications. And then it also is going to give you the ability uh, to share information. So literally, uh, we'll show you a little bit later how you can actually copy information from these windows. Uh, but this gives you that ability to be able to look at things in multiple windows. What you could also do is you can uh, create them um, into little um, shortcuts uh, or floating shortcuts. You'll notice that up here, my, my Google Chrome um, window is now a floating icon. Uh, and if I were to get out of, let's say, for example, the actual um, application I was just in, you'll notice that it's still there. And if I tap on it and open it up, it's now a floating uh, window that I can actually move around. Um, or what I could do is I can expand it by just uh, tapping on the expand button. So again, the multi-windowing feature, very popular feature, uh, lots of flexibility and functionality there. So the next function I'm going to show you is a floating window function, and most applications support it. If it doesn't, you'll just you won't be able to perform this specific function. So I'm going to open up a browser, and here I'm on Yahoo's homepage, and I'm going to take my finger from the upper right hand corner. I'm going to slide down, and as you notice, as I'm sliding down, I'm getting an actual frame uh, that's framing my content. Once I let go, the content, this window uh, that I was in, is now been framed, and I can move it around by pressing my finger on the actual dot that you see at the top. But what it does is gives me the ability to actually uh, open up another window and have them running simultaneously side by side. So I'm going to move this over because I can't see what I want to get into. And now I have um, Chrome behind it. You notice I have two browsers not going side by side. And this could be applications, this could be Facebook, this could be a video, this could be something else. Uh, the point is that I can take that content and I can also manipulate it. Let me minimize this one. And then if I'm going to try to do the same thing with this, it doesn't. I'll try it from this side. Sometimes it gets a little confused. Let's do it this way. There we go. All right. So now what I have is two windows uh, where I can browse internet uh, from different uh, from these two different applications. You know, again, the the browser is acting independently. Uh, from each other because they're two applications. Um, so uh, the floating window function, again, uh, once you're dragging your finger from the upper right hand corner over, if you see that little frame, you'll know that that application supports it. Uh, but if it does, it gives you a lot of neat functionality to be able to see two things at the same time. Now, another way you can use um, the actual floating windows or the pop-up windows as we had there is when you go into the recent list, you'll notice how you have these symbols on each one of these uh, applications. If I press and hold on the title, it's going to come in in a pop-up. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go into the recent. I'm going to press and hold on this one. You notice it now comes up. So I have two windows open. You can have up to five different windows going at the same time. So again, this content is loading. Over here I have my text messaging. Over here I am um, looking at some articles on Yahoo. Again, you can do this for up to five different applications. Now if you're using multi-window functionality and you want to get quickly into a multi-window function based on an application that you've already accessed, you'll notice that your uh, these uh, recent applications all have that double uh, box, one on top of the other. Well, that's your multi-window functionality. So what you could do is literally say, you know what, I'm going to tap that right there, and it will pin, um, it will try to pin Amazon to the top. I'm going to do the same thing now with uh, the internet. Do that right there. And all I'm doing is tapping that uh, specific function. Notice how it's right now on the top. Um, and now what I'm going to do is look at an application on the bottom, um, or I can swipe to go to a specific program that hasn't been launched, right? I can go to the recents and say, you know what, I'm going to bring in uh, this uh, text messaging. So now I'm looking at something on the top, and at the same time, I could be uh, sending a text message, again, based on what I'm browsing. Now, the other benefit of using the multi-window function is being able to share content between the windows. So let's say you're going to be writing a text message. 
uh, to someone. I'm just going to get out of it for a second. Here's my text message. And there's an address or some information here that I want to share with the person I'm text messaging. All you do is you tap on the dot, you tap that icon, you press and hold on what you want to copy over, and now all you do is you just drag it. So see uh, see what questions you your friends are asking today is the same amount of text that you saw that I just brought down. So you can share content um, also between the two windows as easy as just drag and drop.